Hey, what's happening, guys? I bought three of these little work lights from Harbor Freight because basically they're like free. I think they were like a little over a dollar. And they have dual modes, so we have a uh, flashlight mode there, and we have a cob mode here. Do I need three work lights? No, not at all. So why did I buy them? Well, I'm wondering if these little cob strips might be a good thing to have around for any projects that, you know, need some additional lighting. So like I said, at just a little over a buck a piece, I figured, what the heck. I don't think you can find cob strips anywhere else at this low of a price. So, figure we give them a shot. Have a look. Today's flavor of cheap Chinese battery is Nangran extra heavy duty mercury and cadmium I like mercury and cadmium on my eggs usually okay so there's another layer of screws in there this is I like to look at the design of things too especially now that I'm I'm doing more design work myself this is uh, supposed to be melty Monday but we're still you know getting things in line so it's just a regular Monday. And I know none of you mind because I haven't received all that great of uh, feedback on the Melty Monday. I have a, a little bit of good feedback, but not a lot. So Some people just don't seem interested, and that's fine. There's plenty of other stuff we can do here on the channel. Alright, let's see if we get these guys apart here. You gotta love the wiring they do in these things, okay? So take a look at the cob here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. But see that is marked plus, and it's got a red wire. That is marked negative, and it's got a blue wire. Now over on this side, we're coming from the battery. That is marked negative, and it has a red wire going to the negative battery port, so. <laughs> As a big Clive would say, that's not so great. And as Kangaroo Dave might say, look at this. This wire's just flapping in the breeze. Flapping in the breeze. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't really care about any of that stuff there. Let's cut the cob loose. Because realistically, this is why I bought it. Alright. So, no matter what, an aluminum backed chip on board what do we got here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh twelve segment you know I mean it's just you can't go wrong with that not for a dollar all right let's strip this hopefully i got enough there and what we'll do is we'll put it on the power supply here. Mm. We'll set that for four and a half volts.
that's set for 300 milliamps let's uh we'll, we'll try it at 300 milliamps and we'll see what we get actually I'm just gonna try and clip yeah I better not do that This may be more difficult than I thought. Just trying to get these wire the, the wires from the cobber extremely small. Thin, narrow, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, that's bright. Okay, so we're limiting at 300 milliamps. I mean, as bright as can be. In fact, what we can do here, let me shut this off for a second, is uh, this company, Top Tests, contacted me and asked me to check out their new light meters. So I thought, what the heck, we can do that. This is a nice little right light meter here from Top Test, caution. You can rotate the meter around backwards. So if I power up, the cod bring in our meter powered up it is set for lux I'm about six inches over it and what are we reading here think about the 6,000 lux or 400 and some foot candles all right let's uh let's play let's turn up let's uh let's sorry I'm babbling So I'm just getting a reading here at about six inches. Now I'm getting about 5,000 lux. So what we can do, is let's uh, We take that up to half amp and we'll bring in our light meter again same about six inches off yeah I mean that uh, that puts out a considerable considerable amount of light let's turn that off and let's bring in one of the unadulterated ones check its light output Again, we'll get about six inches above it yeah those batteries must be total crap let's try another one look at that they're not even close So we can see our maximum lux was 13. How is that possible? Max 13, min 11. Let's do it off of this one again. So 183 lux times 100. Well, that'd be what? 1083? 474 foot candles times 10. <laughs> anyway, no matter how you look at it. These are a really, really cheap source. 
of these cob strips. You know, desolder the crappy wire that's on them. And you got yourself a nice cod strip. Chip on board, that's what the cod stands for. I also have some nice tiny little screws. A resistor and big resistor and a little resistor and a, and a strange switch. None of them I'm using. So yeah, for for a buck, you get cod strips. You know, you can put them in any, any kind of enclosure you want, and you know, make yourself a uh, seriously bright little light. Cool. Well, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and big thanks to you guys for watching. And a huge thanks to uh, Top Test for sending out their, uh, their light meter here. It is the TS710 light meter from Top Test. I'll put a link down below where you can get one if you're interested. It's a nice little handheld size light meter. Alright guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.